Solving equations can be tricky, especially when you're given problems that look like this. When you have multiple terms that are alike on the same side of the equation, you must combine them. These are called like terms. And in this video, we're going to show you how to solve equations like this, plus a couple other helpful tips. Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about solving equations that have like terms on one side of the equal sign. So in order to solve all linear equations, you must first use the concept of equality. In other words, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must also do to the other side. If the equation has like terms on one side, you must first combine them oops, through addition or subtraction. And what we mean here by like terms, what we're talking about, we're talking about terms that are constants and variables. Okay, and constants is just another way of saying a number or any numbers. And then variables are the letters. Next, you follow the rules for solving equations with one variable. First, you use the addition or subtraction property of equality to get all of the constants on one side of the equation. And then, or second, you use the multiplication or division property of equality to cancel the variable's coefficient and get the variable by itself. And when we're talking about a coefficient, what that means is, in the case of the term 3x, if we were to cancel or try to get rid of the variable's coefficient, the coefficient in this case would be 3. So that would be the coefficient. The x would be the variable. So let's go ahead and try some practice problems. The first problem given to us is 4 plus 4x minus 3 equals 13. Now you can see that before we can cancel this variable, get rid of this variable, we need to actually combine like terms. In the case of this problem, our like terms are constant. So our like terms are going to be these numbers. So the first thing we need to do is actually add those two numbers together. So we have 4 minus 3. Or when you add these, you're going to do 4 minus 3, which of course is 1. You're going to bring down the positive 4x. You're going to bring down the equal sign. And you're also going to bring down the 13. Now the next step is to go ahead and solve this just like you would any other two-step equation. So now we need to get this constant on this side of the equal sign. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 1. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. These cancel. You're left with 4x equals 12. 13 minus 1 is 12. Then you have to get rid of the coefficient. In this case, it's 4. This is like saying 4 times x. So you're going to divide both sides by 4. Divide this side by 4. 4 divided by 4 will cancel. You divide this side by 4. You're left with x equals 12 divided by 4, which is 3. And that's our solution. Moving on to number 2. Number 2 gives us 10x plus 15 minus 5x equals 35. In this case, this problem is a little different because instead of giving us two constants, we're given two terms that have variables attached to them. So our like terms this time are going to be 10x and 5x. So the first thing you need to do is you need to actually combine these two things. So we're going to take 10x and we're going to subtract it by 5x. And obviously 10x minus 5x is 5x. You bring down the positive 15, so plus 15, 
equal sign comes down and then the 35 comes straight down. The next step is we have to get rid of this positive 15. So we want the variable on one side and a number on the other, a constant on the other. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides. 15 minus 15 is zero. So that cancels. You bring down the 5x. So now we have 5x. Bring down the equal sign. And now we do 35 minus 15, which is 20. Last step is we have to get rid of this 5x. This is like saying 5 times x. So in order to undo 5 times x, we do 5 divided by 5. So in order to undo 5 times x, we have to divide by 5. So whatever you do to one side, you also do to the other. So we're going to divide that side by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, of course, so that will cancel. And then you have 20 divided by 5, which is 4. And that's going to be our solution. Jumping up to number 3. Number 3 gives us the problem 44 equals negative 3x minus 8 plus 2. So this equation looks a little different because we have the x's on the opposite side of the equal sign, but the steps to actually solving this equation are going to be the same. So the first thing you have to do is you have to realize that negative 3x and 2x are going to be our like terms, and that's what you need to combine. So we're going to go ahead and combine negative 3x and 2x. And negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 or negative 1x. You'll bring down the negative 8 on this side, the equal sign comes straight down, and then the 44 comes straight down on this side. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the x on one side of the equation by itself and a number on the other side by itself. In order to do that, we're going to add 8 here so that the 8's will cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So 44 plus 8 is 52. You bring down your equal sign and you bring down your negative 1x. Then the last thing we have to do is we have to divide by negative 1 so that the 1's cancel and also the negatives cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we will divide this side by negative 1 as well. This side you're left with just x. And over here, you have 52 divided by negative 1, which will be negative 52. And that's your solution. Last problem in our guided examples is number 4. We're given the problem 28 equals 10 plus 6x minus 18. This is just like number 3, where you have everything on the right-hand side of the equal sign. But what's different is our like terms are constants. So the two terms we can actually combine together are going to be these numbers. So the first thing we need to do is we need to combine them. And we're given 10 and negative 18, or in other words, 10 minus 18. That gives us negative 8. We add, or we bring down the positive 6x, bring down the equal sign, and bring down the 28. Next step is we have to get rid of this minus 8 because we need x on one side by itself. So we're going to add 8 to this side right here. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we're going to add 8 to this side. The 8's will cancel. You bring down 6x on this side. The equal sign. And then 28 plus 8 is 36. Last step is you need, we have 36 equals 6x. We need to get rid of this coefficient of the 6x. This is like 6 times x, so we're going to divide by 6. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. 6 divided by 6 is 1, or it cancels. And you're left with x on this side, and then 36 divided by 6 is 6. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.